we're going to learn about Jesus is the, the Lion, Lion of Judah. Jesus, the Lion of Judah. Lauren, you love lions. Yes. Why do you like lions? Because they have fluffy hair but all around their necks. <laughs> When Lowen was a little boy, we got a lion teddy bear as a gift. And he responded like a light bulb that suddenly went on when he saw this teddy bear. And since then it's been his favourite. So we have nicknamed Lowen our lion in our house. <laughs> now, where in the Bible does it say... Jesus is the Lion of Judah. Shall we have a look? So, in the very last book in the Bible, which is called? Revelation. Revelations. Chapter 5, verse 5. 5, 5. It says, And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. That means that this line of Judah is part of David's family line that came after him. And did you know that Jesus is in David's family line? No. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. So who conquered? Jesus, Jesus did. Well done. Jesus, the Lion of Judah. Now, for this week's artwork, we are going to make a... What do you guys call this again? Quacky. A quacky. But it's not a duck, guys. We're making a lion. Can you see? Now, show me again how this works. Okay. So it's like a game that you play. So, Lower, what should I do first? So, you must pick a color. I choose blue, okay. black, orange and green. Alright. So, now I must pick one of these colors. R E D. Okay, now what next? Now you choose a number. A number. Okay, show everybody the numbers there first. Alright, let me see. Number five, please. Four, five. Oh, okay. And now what? You have to pick a number, then I have to open it. Aha! Uh -huh. So. In the lion's mouth, I will now pick number one. And show everybody what it looks like when you open it. So inside, we wrote down scriptures. It says, Be strong in the Lord. post some photos with these scriptures on the inside that you are welcome to copy and use. We have eight different scriptures on the inside. Okay, this is a very fun activity and a way to just get to know the word. Be strong in the Lord and in His great power. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Perfect love casts out all fear. 1 John 4 verse 18. Do not be afraid for I am with you, says the Lord. Isaiah 41 verse 10 A. Give all your worries to Him for He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Proverbs 3 verse 5. 
The Lord has promised that He will not leave us or abandon us. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Philippians 4 verse 4 God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power and self-control. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 But today we want to also teach you how to make this quirky. quirky. I do remember that. <laughs> a lion quacky. So, Lowen, what will we need? You'll need paper and scissors. That all? Yes. Okay. And perhaps pens or coloring paper. Uh, coloring pens. Pencils. Yes. Coloring pencils. Okay. And maybe a pen. For the eyes. Moms, if you do not want to take forever to color in the picture as I did of this one. You can also adapt it by cutting out different colors of paper in the different layers for the face of the lion. We are going to make a, what do you guys call this again? Quacky. A quacky, but it's not a duck guys, we're making a lion. Can you see? Lower, you are going to help me teach everyone how to make this cracker. So we have a piece of paper, you may use colored paper as well. What do we do? So you take one corner mm -hmm. on your left or right mm -hmm. and then you fold it until it's on the line and then you fold it like that and then you, if it is on the point you can fold it. Folding a triangle. So that we can make a square. square. You can make like mommy, but always make lines. Okay, I use this line as my guide and I fold the page or the part of the page that looks like a rectangle, I fold it backwards. And this is going to give us a guiding line on which to cut. Now we have a square, so two triangles make a square. Nice fun activity for shapes. Okay, what do we do next? We take one corner and put it on the other one and then fold it. What do we do? To make a triangle and that you can see the middle. So now you have a diagonal cross in the middle of the page. What do we do next? You take one corner and put it right on the middle of the cross. Aha, the crossing point. Okay. And next? You do it with everyone. With all the corners. Okay. Now what do we do? You flip it over. Okay, we flip it over guys. And do it again. So now we again take the corners and fold them to the centre crossing. So that they align on the crossing. What do we do? Now you make like the flat side, not the corners. Ah, so and it looks like a rectangle. So you fold it over to create a rectangle. Now you open it up. We open it up. And then you turn it around and do it again. So now you flip it over. That the mouthpiece is facing downwards, and then you put your thumbs and forefinger in the holes, in the pockets. See the open pockets. Put your yeah. thumbs so, and your yeah. four fingers inside the pockets. Uh -huh. You push them towards each other, and as 
it closes, you create your pattern. Now you can open it this way. So, next you would draw the lines face onto this part of the cracky with the eyes and the nose in the center. Right? When it opens up on this inside part, if you were to fold it open, you can draw the mouth. And also on each triangle you see, you can draw a number. When the child then selects a number, that would be the flap that you open. And on this inside part, you would write the scripture verses. Jesus, the Lion of Judah. Welcome to Rainbow's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a lion. So first you're going to need some cookies, any cookie you want, and a banana, and an apple. Jesus, the Lion of Judah. Let's end off in prayer. Lord, we come to you today and we just want to say thank you, Jesus, that you are the Lion of Judah. Thank you for so many pictures that you've given us so that we can get to know who you are. It is so precious to see how the Lion has authority and how the Lion rules and how the lion protects. So Lord, we want to say thank you, Jesus, that you are the Lion of Judah, that you have conquered, and that you rule and reign as the King of Kings. We praise you, Lord. We bless every child watching. We bless every family, Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus over them, your protection, Lord, and your guidance in this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.